version 12 licensing video. In this video, I will help guide you through the activation process for your product. For this example, I'm going to use the Titan 1. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Titan 1 application. Now that the software has launched, I'm presented with the Titan 1 license agreement. Click Agree. I'm now presented with two options, Request License and Import License. Click Request License. I'm now going to go ahead and export a token file. This token file will need to be uploaded to the website in order for me to receive a full license. Click Export. Select the desktop. Click Next and take the token file to the web browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser. The web browser is currently pointing to avalites.com forward slash licensing. On this page, I'm presented with two options, login and register. If you're an existing user, you can click login. If you don't have a user account, you can register for one by clicking the register button. For this example, I'm going to log in. I'm now presented with three options. One, I'm not sure what to do. Two, I have a token file to upload. Or three, enter a computer key for a 14 day temporary license. For this example, I'm going to select the second option. Now I'm presented with the choose file option. I'll need to click choose file and locate the exported token file, which I've saved to the desktop. Now that I've located the token file, I'm going to click open. You'll notice the choose file box displays the token name, which means it's been recognized by the website. I'm now going to go ahead and click submit. A full license will be granted to all Titan 1 and T1 users. If you have not been granted your license, this means the licensing team is reviewing your application. I am now going to download the license file and import this into the software. The license is downloaded. I can now open the Titan 1 application. I am now presented with request license and import license. I have received the license so I can click import license. I am now going to browse and import the downloaded license file. I've now located the license and I'm going to click open. Now that the license has been verified, I can continue using the software. 